Certainty, stability is not a thing that we can search in this time. As predicted, according to the astrology cycle, Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde in Capricorn for a long time already and will continue with us all February. The market cannot rise under this situation. This is a reason why oil pushed it up together with an aspect of Sol Mars to Neptune in the last weeks. Manipulation, warmongering, as I'm predicting in the World Weekly Astrology, if you are uh, already in the Telegram group or via Patreon. The markets fell according to uh, the prediction that I alerted already since November to happen uh, around January, February. And this is still another punch that is expected to happen in the next weeks. Venus continue to retrograde is another sign of it. We need to have passion and also to develop a new strategy. People that are just gambling with the aspect of South Node in Scorpio, they just own the exchange and just want to cover the debt of this or just want to leverage for being the first are going to fail and to lose a lot of money in this year. This is not me. This is the law of universe. And it's not just people. Also companies that will bet and will leverage and will manipulate will get the punishment. The south node is in Scorpio. It's not a joke. The way to look forward is to build new harmony, North Node in Taurus. But the new harmony that we are asked to build is very non easy to indicate. Because the ruler of the North Node in Taurus is Venus. And Venus is retrograde right now. So when the boss is not very strong, vital, what you expect the project of this person to be? So Venus right now is passing through grief, the value. We cannot invest in something expecting that now it's going to be, I don't know, the feature of success as we knew it until three years ago shiny luxury offering this comfort and this so many channels and so many buttons and people blah 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 free massages it's not like this venus retrograde in capricorn to teach us a new infrastructure and we will need to find a new balance to equilibrate earth uranus in taurus as well to not consume, contaminate, and to destroy the earth as we've been doing so far. And also not to speak about conquering other countries, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, Israel, Palestine, or who whatever conflicts in the world right now. Scorpio wants it all. Scorpio wants it now, is wrapping. With Venus, you are creating relationship and diplomacy. And in order to build peace, not war. But because the evil power or what we consider our past or our habits, our addiction is stronger than our new willingness to create new behavior, new habit. Check with yourself. What is stronger? Your new will to start a new day or your addiction 
four, six, four, extra gambling, just one more time, just one more time, G doing your old habits. This is the south node, and in Scorpio is a black abyss. We all under this black juice. We are understanding how corrupt is the system, but we are feeding this corruption with our expectation for our individual needs in order to go first out from something not going to work this year. So I said, and I will continue saying, before I said before 2020 started, not long time ago, a month ago, or in before, that 2020 will be magical, magical to those that will embrace a new paradigm and an attitude for life. Those will that will unify their power, their energies, those that will create something that is beyond money, that will bring service, that could create balance, those will earn from the divine, not from anyone else. Twenty twenty two will include natural disasters. It's part of the purge. Those are so many dark timing that are repeating in this year. And we mentioned already the US independency war, the civil war, the Holocaust, Second World War. Those are more events included. And I just published two members. It's still uh, for the highest year, the Russia prediction for this year. It will be available to general public in three weeks. Those are very alarming indicators. And we have nothing to control. It's like we, we don't have control right now. We, we really need to, to choose simple access for life. What is more important, money or people? A lot of people and a lot of families just broke in the last year, two years. People separating from each other, uh, people division, etc. We will realize that the power of wealth or, or, or the feeling or the sensation of wealth is togetherness with people that we love, with people that we care. And specifically when the South Node is in Scorpio. Many materials are going to be destroyed. This is already a big <laughs> uh, ice in Antarctica that released 150 tons of water. And it's still going to continue. It's not a global warming. We are changing ages. We are changing age to age of Aquarius and what's so called the North Node is changing its location and like in the fridge, the ice is melting and if you haven't watched the video that explaining for five hours about the flat earth theory, you will understand that our earth is much bigger than what we've been introduced by the illusion fake that our earth is round. Those are more continents after Antarctica, but because of our limitation by looking on the firmament, we are feeling that is round and that small. But the light of the sun and the heat is starting to move to a new radius and it's gradually happening. 
Meantime, 2022 with Jupiter and Neptune conjunction, we are going to see floods. We are going to see places that will be underwater and probably mud. Not to speak about earthquakes that are about to be part of the theme. Remember, Jupiter was the last time in 2010. And then it was near to Uranus. What we got in Jupiter, Uranus? New technologies. We got smartphones, Facebook, WhatsApp. Connected the people above imagination. Now, with the corruptive Neptune in a way, spiritual Neptune too, it's become infinite. Neptune is ruling of the infinity, is ruling legs. And then we are speaking about infinity of opportunities, also of the technology that we saw in 2010 with Uranus. And this is also about the end of some technologies. Because Neptune, even that is infinity, but is also fin. It could be finity and not just infinity. And this is an end of what we experience freedom. Now, we will need to add to these small factors that I'm going to show you in this presentation. It is a spontaneous one for general public, sort of a warm up to the dedicated videos that I'm sharing to members and you could see the links below. We are going to expect corruption reveals because Jupiter is revealing Neptune also of corruption. It could be event, major debates with uh, with oil prices and all the wars that were happening in the last years were related to the liquid of oil that is the stability, the, the, the stage for the US economy uh, we, as we know it today. Neptune will also help us to change our perspective about the world, as I've said already. We will understand, we may reveal that the Earth is not what they showed us in NASA, etc. And it will confuse a lot of people as well. We may find some evidence beneath the sea that will shock us. We may find new islands, new civilization under the water to reveal very important information for humanity. Also, Neptune is related to children and we may see a big event that will harm and will wake up people about the threat of children or will expose about something that is happening with children and also babies, also about women, for pregnant women. It could be events that are related to all those. And because in Pisces we are speaking about far lands, we are speaking about the Far East and places that we consider them to be far from the center that we are measuring the things. And the classic center we are measuring the things is from England, near to the North Pole that we are measuring our world. You know, this is an Olympic in Beijing happening next month. And I'm predicting that is going to be an event that will craze the world. The last time, with aspect that I'm seeing, it was a terror attack in a Munich, the Olympic in Munich in 1972. What happened a year after? It was the Yom Kippur War. Many Arab countries surprised Israel in the most sacred day and the results are known. And it was more tension and wars in the east of Europe. 
it was Chiron in Aries in a degree that in case of Israel that is opposing Neptune. This sort of event going to happen probably in the Olympic it's a mixture of things because the things are going to be connected in a way that people will not notice but it's going to be different losing control events that will inside the world in different forces and dynamics it's almost starting a war and it's coming back to something else like the earthquake is changing the dynamics so each one is losing momentum so it's something about Israel with something that is about to happen there and with its involvement and also in Beijing another thing that we need to remember that 2004 south node in scorpio it was the indian ocean earthquake and tsunami horrible disaster horrible disaster places will be covered by water and we are asked in this year not to plan too far to accept the destiny and the end of story of things even that we could not stop or control we need to lose control this is another south node in Scorpio we need To find, to lose control in order to build new trust. It's always right to lose control. In a way, in a in a way of trusting, accept. But when we lost, con we we lost. We, are, we a lot of people feel that they lose control they cannot manifest they could not uh, claim their right because they are so small and then it's like a blind trust in the system that is not helped us as we saw the management of the pandemic in this year it seems to be a purge that is really above our control it's something of the divine it's a purge and because jupiter is about to enter to aries already by may after meeting with neptune and jupiter is going to pass on the darkest degrees the end of the zodiac the last degrees of pisces this is related to darkness that is illuminated like suddenly you could see the zombie eyes in a dark room. But then Chi Jupiter will meet with Chiron by the end of 2022. And all the autumn 2022 will be on the last degrees of Pisces again. So something in the period of may around the eclipses and around october are very invitation for for cleaning the table for possibilities of a major amount of injuries and death also for losses in the stock market how you are preparing for a death you know how you just remind yourself that nothing is forever 
and then you bring yourself to the present and say, why do I keep the money for? I'm going to enjoy now. I'm going to build now. I'm going to be present. I'm going to, in, I'm going to invest in myself now. I'm going to be beautiful. I'm going to buy myself a better t-shirt. I'm going to buy myself something that at least I enjoy what I have. And then by doing this, you also purge something in your behavior. You become more aware. You activate the Taurus side, the opposite of Scorpio. And then you are feeling you get more vitality. And because you get more vitality, you also could extend your life. But if you are going to be saving the money and, and I don't know, like trusting the banks, the system, I will hold it like all this without, you know, like always as our grandfathers did or maybe it may lose. It might lose its power. It will drain you with anxiety of losing and finally losing. The immunity of this year is dream. Accomplish your dream. Put the money on what you want. Buy your dreams now. Like we are all going to die. This will activate positively also the Jupiter and Chiron that will come after. That will activate your will. Being yourself, not losing yourself. I will speak a little bit of about the market generally. Despite of a surprise that may tumble the world in February specifically inside the time of the Olympic. The S&P will continue to push in the next six months back to the 500. It's not going to be a crash, even that it could continue as a zombie market. Uh, the Bitcoin will see this year, not until June, uh, but later, We'll see this year the 100K. And whatever price you will see, if this is still a chance, as I'm showing to members in the weekly and in the live chart that are showing six months ahead, a possibility to fall quickly below the, three, the 30K. And the prices that we are seeing right now and the dynamic was illustrated already time ago. So all those that are connecting the dots with the fundamentals, this happened because this, because uh, Russia is uh, banning the this. This is still a battle on the USD. The United States is going to lose a lot of power in this year. And still the money will continue to show its number. It's not saying that your purchasing power will increase by having more dollars, money, whatever you measure it. The oil in the next six months will continue between 60 and 80. And gold will not rise as many people are calling there the Wizard of Oz and all those stories. Still not this year. The best investment of this year will be Generally speaking, Bitcoin will continue, but it's not going to be easy game just to buy and see it and see uh, the price rising. It's going to be cleansing, too strong cleansing at least of 50 and sometimes 60% in the middle. It's going to be brutal. It's not for children. And remember, Jupiter passing, meeting Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, passing on the last degrees of Pisces, entering to Aries and going back to Pisces. This is giving like, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to war, I'm going... Ah! Something happened and like water on your head. Ah, you get hot, you get... Oh, I'm going to do this... Ah! Wow, something is pulling. The plans are shifting for everybody. 
So be humble. Humble. Think about beauty. Use the money. Build with the money things that will create contracts and better condition between you and others. Don't be afraid to lose it because of investing it or buying for you things that may be things that will improve your quality life. The best dishes, the best food, the best... Whatever you could improve your lifestyle of the best. Will send you bless. Also for this year, we all needed to prepare. It's not a year that you now start, ah, from now, like you were... It will take more time, extra effort for those that haven't prepared. Because now you need to update yourself with all the way of investment, of buying, of all the options. Now it's more difficult, but it's still possible. We will need to educate each other to find people that could help closing gaps between us. Education, Jupiter is the ruler of education. And very interesting to find new solution education for children. Because the schools are the first to collapse. And already collapsing. And this will also lead for massive immigration. Not just because of the natural disasters that will happen around the world. Also some explosions, terrorism, warmongering. But it all will be like smoke and lights and mirrors all around us it's almost begin but nothing happens but just confusing each one confused no real countries right now there is no country right now that i see that allow itself to go full into war right now otherwise it's going to lose its pants and United States, due to the inflation and the collapse of the dollar, feels that really want something like this to happen. But it maybe should happen like this because United States is going to lose its energy. And also for all of us independent uh, individuals. Don't try to be the, the, the righteous. Don't try to be the first. Don't try to be the winner right now. Be humble. Don't be greedy. And if you will have a feeling like a, a hype of, hey, I have all this, I'm going to do this full, <clears throat> probably a risk is coming. Because this is Jupiter and Neptune. And Jupiter will give us the momentum going to Aries into April. And a lot of people in the crypto space also will feel, yeah, yeah, as you are feeling the hey, boom, Jupiter to, to go back to Pisces. It's beyond the money that is on, uh, that is on the screen. It's also about what quality, what value you are bringing to your life and how you are helping by creating a new world. We are still valid to speak about breaking the old laws, the old system. We will need to move out from the darkness to independency, to self-sovereignty. Those are so many things to build. It's beyond building new company and I will do this and I will hire those. Based on what infrastructure? We will need to consider a new way of agreement. This is the concept of Bitcoin. It's like a social monetary system. And the more we will take back control on food and... It will be communities that instead of paying the rent in regular government money, it will be through crypto. It will start to distribute differently. But being independent 
it's a big invitation here. You don't want to feel rich and quality because you are sitting on a big armchair of the system. This is going to burn. It's too comfortable. <clears throat> so, Jupiter and Neptune steal so much water, asking us all to swim and to float. Float. Meditate in this. Allow the water being bigger than you to carry you when you are not resisting. You may find yourself lying on a beautiful soft sand in an island somewhere that will appear beneath you. Until the next, I'm Osher. Join our Telegram channel where I'm sharing more materials and concentrating all the materials that are not arriving to you directly in YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.